up guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the York City save where this is the table. We're 11 points clear with about 13 games to go. I say about, it's very precise. That's how the league works. 46 games in total, we've played 33. There's 13 to go. Maths. Anyway, Halifax do have a game in hand and therefore could cut that to a mere nine points. I don't understand. I still don't understand. Not like we've been brilliant either in the interim. We have won three games. We have lost one. So after we dealt with Stockport 3-1, very useful comeback on that front. Lopez got us out of this particular hole against Ebsfleet, who are doing okay again. They were in the playoff runs last time round, I think, and they are once again. So 2-1, all Lopez is doing. Let's skip that one for the time being. Wrexham, 1-0. James Clark, dull game. Bournewood, 5-2. Very not dull. Lopez, hat-trick. You may notice he scored penalties, folks. Yes, um, there was there was one missed in this somewhere somewhere in here, I think. But Connor Stanley, Carl McFarlane also scored in the league. Importantly, they got two goals. The first one ridiculous, but the most ridiculous of all was the one that Harrogate scored because naturally first shot on target. The final stats make it slightly more flattering for Harrogate, in in fairness. But it was literally their first shot on target that they scored. I don't know what happened towards the end of the first half, but suddenly got very feisty. But today on the menu are two games, both away from home. One away at Leamington, one away at File. Two teams we have played before. Something I kind of forgot about is that Leamington were the team that came up with us. So they've not fared as well. But it's a nice little trip to Butlin Road in Leamington Spa. I have had a look at Leamington. Did, did want to just double check Leamington and Leamington Spa were the same, same place. So at least we get a nice little relaxing spa break after this match, before we have to go all the way to Lancashire for Fylde. <sighs> the team bus is going to see some miles in these few days, aren't, isn't it? But, oh dear, oh dear. I did find out Leamington's uh, nickname is The Break, so I'm really hoping that's not what they put on our cha campaign challenge. Campaign challenge. Title challenge. The good news is, for York, at the very least, actually, I might just save Clark from any embarrassment in this particular one. I'm going to start Griffiths. I'm going to I'm actually going to keep Clark out of this match entirely just because I don't want to risk him getting a yellow card in this situation when not like especially when there's no one else even risky actually I think Ted Smith might be back he is so we do actually go to go basically full swing apart from that right back position Griffiths has performed better in that role than Dyer has when we've needed him so Griffiths will start this one Smith boys Romano boom block Nissel Williams Bennett and Stanley actually Walker is hmm I'll start Walker in this one. I'll use this to get his fitness in. And Lopez up front, who of course has been banging them in for fun lately again, which is good to see. 20 goals for the season now. 17 in the league, as you saw on that big page thing. That's a bold formation. Keep the run going. It's kind of weird how like sort of one of the teams on both sides like promoted are both struggling and then one of them are actually doing okay. Obviously, I think the other one was having a Waterlooville, who have dropped off in fairness, but they're, they're, com they're comfortably safe, I think, for this year. We, mm, teams are sort of vaguely comparable in terms of fitness. I think we're marginally better in general. But, okay, there's a highlight. One, uh, Spong pungs that one in. Oh, that's gone in the goal. I got, I got a little bit hung up, on, hung up on Spong's name there. And failed to actually produce any other words after that. That, hmm. That's defensively not great, is it? Completely not a fault of being on attacking or anything like that. But, hey, oh. Fylde seem to be playing. I think everyone's playing today. Lopez, uh, that's gone in, and that wasn't fantastic goalkeeping. And to be honest, I don't get my hopes up when the ball goes out wide like that, so it did catch me off guard. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna pretend it didn't there. Block hmm, nice little curl pass there. Stanley first time just sees space for Lopez to run into. And yeah, to be honest, when when a player runs into that position, I'm literally expecting nothing to happen. But Woods flapped it and there's a immediate highlight. Okay then. At the very least I should give us a point. No, actually I don't think it even took the point off us. Didn't have even enough, that much of time to react. So Romano's under this in a cell, and that's just hunted around a little bit on this left-hand side. Walker's, well, defensively not great again, and, well, he is scoring for fun now. Lopez, where, where's this Lopez? Where was this Lopez during December? Now, I'm not sure if he just enjoys the second half of the season, or if just, obviously, the second half of the season was him sort of proving his, so he's acclimatised, he's learned the language, he can understand the words actually being shouted at him. I'm not sure if that was, you know, obviously part of the reason why he did a lot better in the second half of last season, but if he has a stellar second half of this season, then he is well in 
is running for a golden boot. I'll put him on 19 in the league, and ah, that's a weird ball. Quite sure why you've decided to do that, but Smith has it now. Uh, no, I thought he was going to put it onto the right-hand side. I hope someone switches the play right now. There it is. That's the play. There we go. Williams gives it out to Stanley. The overlap was going to be there for him, but Lopez can make it a hat-trick now, and does. He's got a hat-trick within 25 minutes. 26, really, I suppose. Well, I think we can go off attacking now. This is an interesting patch of play. I was actually kind of expecting the overlap to occur there, but Stanley just first time punts it over again, and, well, Woods... Mm, well, Wood has basically just become a tree there and allowed Lopez to go around him. We're going to see it with lines, see if he was offside. Interesting to know. No, no, he wasn't. He was well on and caught the entire defence napping. There's another, there's another highlight already. Corner. Lopez, is, well, Lopez was under it. Lopez is still under it. Romano's got the goal, though. Technically an assist by Lopez. I think it's come off him. I don't think he's deliberately assisted there. But 4-1. Well, I'm glad I bought you this one. We're not even attacking anymore. So, I just want to see what happens here. Lopez doesn't get under it. Edwards does get that. Yeah, Lopez smashes it out of the defender and it ricochets back to Romano, who has space and time to knock that one in. Well, it's not going too badly. I think, I think we're finally getting the other side of the goals to shots ratio average now. I think there's all come in one match, though, rather than when we've had, like, 23 shots in one goal. Here we go, lads. Well, I hope you're all having a wonderful Thursday. Star Wars A, wasn't it brilliant slash rubbish? I'm, I'm, I'm going to pull out the curtain a little bit here. I'm recording this on Wednesday. I'm, I'm just, just because I've got a triple bill of Star Wars upcoming. When, it, when it's £6 for three films in IMAX, I'm not going to turn that one down, am I? So, yeah, this has been done. This has been recorded in advance. That's gone wide. So, yeah, I have no idea how good Star Wars is, technically, at this point. I won't do by the time this video goes live, but I won't. Oh, right now. Williams swings this ball in. I'm just, just just blocking the entire thing there with remnants from the previous page, as Connor Stanley gets it. Well, he scored recently, I think, as well. Glad to have him back, to be honest. We, we were definitely worse off without him. He was, I think he's the most consistent of the wingers. Didn't have a good game... I think one of the, one of the games previous like you just missed, but yeah, he had he had a bit of a poor game there. He was on a six point two, I think it was, but otherwise he has been the most consistent of the wingers that we've brought in at the very least. Of course, we're getting close to that time when they start uh, announcing the releases from the Premier League clubs again. So fingers crossed. There's another one in there for us. It's bong. I mean, they persisted with a four three three, which I thought was a bit bold against the team at the top of the table. Stanley, well, he's being cut out there. Sure, that's good. that is going to get through to Slater, who is completely not my sharp. So we'll see where this goes. At Ted Smith, and then out. So, as you'd expect, it's 70 minutes and not made any changes. Don't really need to, but we do have a game in three days, and we should probably rest our best players. Yeah, no point keeping Lopez on the field. He's already got three. We'll preserve Morgan Boys as well at left back, and I think we'll also prevent Tommy Block from any potential sendings off. Thor's okay in a half-back position, so we'll just do that, really, I think. Just protect the best players, or most crucial players, I should say. Because Boise's standings as a left back have also been pretty rubbish. Particularly since Boise himself has actually gotten good. Like the standings for Boise when he was playing rubbish were very good. Now the tables have indeed entirely turned. Big abhorrence. Yeah, play, please love it. 5 1 away from home. Absolutely. I'm going to have to rest them. Well, there we are. It's rolled around quite quickly, and this is, of course, actually first v second as well, so. 13 points is the difference. Did they not win their game? I don't think either of them won their games. Maybe they drew with each other. I'll have a look afterwards, I think. Ah, ah, it, it, seems, it seems the under-18s have played and I forgot to take any instructions out. So, my bench play is looking a little bit worse for wear. But that's not too problematic because Clark will come on and that will replace Dyer. Left back, I can just bring... Fer well, he's technically more fit than Newton is, so he'll have to do. I think Walk, yeah, Walker's just a little bit tired from the previous game, but otherwise, I think we're okay here. Yeah, 93 is the worst, 93, 91 for Walker, but he is technically better than any other left mid we've got. Apparently, Ben is wanted by Wigan, and mm, I'm not really going to stop that from happening if that comes through. Lopez, you're staying, sunshine. Just gave him a new contract this year, so he should be all right. So the team is basically unchanged, apart from Clark, basically. Oh, I see, they've they got Zach Tronfield. Sorry, they must have had him before, but yeah, Norwich, youngster. 
think it became decent in previous versions of this. Get re yes, get revenge. We don't get to get to say that against many of the teams in this division. But yes, let's go get some revenge, shall we? Don't kill them. Oof, they are so much more tired than we are. They clearly didn't take a day's rest. What fools they are. Well, 15 minutes gone. There's been one shot in the entire game. So this is scintillating for the spectators. And us, for that matter, I should say, I suppose. One shot each. Lopez. Clark. Pass back. Nacelle's in the middle. Switches across, maybe? No, Stanley's and Block might do the switching here. No, he doesn't. If we can get it out to number two on the other side, that would be good. No, just bypass the entire defence and get it to Lopez, who does put it wide, but fantastic defence pulling assist there. Pity it wasn't a better end product from the person who scored about seven goals in the last four matches. Frost. Clark's underneath that and manages to head it to someone on his own side, which is progress. Williams moves forward. Stanley mm, could have really done with a slightly more forward pass there for him to run onto. But Lopez has gone really wide here and is inevitably going to shoot it directly at Montgomery because that's how the game's coded. Rather, you know, attempting to pass to one of the three people, two people, however many people are in that box. I know we got it wrong yesterday. <laughs> Bit more. Dronfield. They're playing out from the back now. Barkley in the middle. Charged down by Nacelle, and again charged down once more, forces it back to Montgomery, who does deal with it and get it to one of his own players, which is annoying. That's the whole point of closing down the goalkeeper, is to make mistakes. As it doesn't get on the end of that, Williams has gone back to my goalkeeper now, and they're not really doing the charging down. Boom. Can we can we please play this forwards? You can see you can see block there almost working as a third defender in this situation there. 26 is dropping deeper. Every now and then, that's Tommy Block doing what his name suggests. Lopez, though, is through again, gone wide, and managed to just about squeeze that in. If we could please stop going wide, though. It's incredibly annoying, and to be honest, now I'm very confused about whether or not I should be getting excited when players enter those positions, because Lopez has been scoring from that position a little bit more lately. He didn't even look! He didn't even look! The cheek of that shot! Not like he was going to take another touch, and it's like, nope. Fabulous finish, really, when you see it in 3D. Anything interesting going on otherwise? No, I have no idea, because it's just gone to another highlight. Anyone under Stanley's underneath it? Well, that's gone a bit weird. Someone's, it, someone's offside. Anything? Oh, Halifax are losing. I, th I think, that basically, if Halifax lose, that puts us 16 points clear, which is ridiculous. I think they still have a game in hand, though. Well, capable even better. Yeah, they came to our gaff and took a 1-0 win away, I think. It was an own goal, but they still took a 1-0 one one nil win away corner. I'm not going to point it out, but you can see it on the stats thing on the side there how many shots on target they've had. Ah, wonderful. Yes, that's gone straight in. Neil Bands, his sixth goal of the season. Their first on target in the game. Oh, damn, I did just say it. Bro is through now, and never to play Smith. How come they're taking shots from a more central location than we are? Why do we always have to go wide? It's not Walker's best game, 6.4. Or boys, for that matter. Let's just change that entire left-hand side, shall we? Clark does get through on that one, and, but unfortunately his charge forward means he's actually back in time for that one. As He's done it again, everyone. Boom, Boom's done it again. I, I highlighted it in a previous game, where Boom gathers the ball and then just just just, just gives it, just stops stops playing football, basically, and gives it to the opponent. Can can. Can we spread those mistakes out to the opposite side as well? I mean, we're on attack. We're still on attack. We've been on attacking the entire game. We probably shouldn't have been attacking at the start of this. But the good news is they're now very tired. So, and we're not. Williams is furious. I can't get rid of Boom, though. That's the problem. Mark on the right-hand side is booked. So he's actually going to miss the next match. Just don't want to risk a red card at this stage. Demand more. Oh, can't believe really Fowler are going to get the better of us in both sides. Oh, no. There's a highlight. Ferguson. Block now. To sell. Takes over, moves it in was to Williams, who is under a little bit of pressure. Boom, thankfully, doesn't give it away again. Griffiths, odd, odd, odd pass there, but it got away with it. And Lopez smashes the bar from a yard out. Nacelle is on the edge of the box, probably could have gone for a shot himself. Block, do box does instead. Nacelle, this highlight continues. I suspect the highlight's main point was the crossbar smash, but keeps going nonetheless. Stanley doesn't get to that one, and Whitmore hunts it out, and uh, that will be the end. No, it isn't. Go in. Stanley, back out to Griffiths, who can whip this one across. Ferguson is under it. Well, that wasn't great, was it? He just headed it into the direct line he ran at, which wasn't anywhere near the goal. This is going to get run at just... <sighs> Rather than when we've had 
like 23 shots and one goal. And I'm not pleased. What I don't understand is why are opposite teams way more accurate with their shots? It's not like I have been. It's not like I've been lacking on the chance conversion training. Where is the where is where's the Jekyll and Hyde option? Where was the you were pathetic in the second half option? We should have won that match. Threw it away. Now we're only a mere ten points clear. Yep, ten points regardless because Halifax lost, so they can't even get second with their game in hand. Oh no, they drew with Epsley. Halifax drew with someone else. I'm not bothering to look at that one. Uh, we already agreed on what we were going to bring next time round. I'm pretty certain. Not too many games left in this season now, so Halifax is looking like a good, tasty one. And they're going to have a red bridge, actually, of course, in the playoff positions as well currently, and it's on television, so I might play through two there. I don't think we've seen either of those live in an episode yet. We haven't seen any of these lot, really, I don't think, but two teams up there in the mix. Definitely, definitely matches to be bringing you, I think, those two there. And then, of course... Depending, depending on how many points clear we are at that point, if we are indeed at all, can we, can we lose? No, we can't, we can't lose the lead by that point. So yeah, depending on how many points clear we are by that point, might, the title deciding might be not too far off that. But we'll see, of course, when we come to these two matches. Until then, ta -ra. And don't spoil Star Wars if you watch it.